Hi everyone, Hannah here and welcome back to the channel. So before I start the unboxings, I have a slight story to tell. So Thursday evening, I was just scrolling through Facebook. It must have been about 10 to 8 in the evening p.m. And I saw that somebody had posted a picture that the Bullring store, Disney store in Birmingham, had got some of the Thunder Mountain Minnie Mouse Main Attraction backpacks. Now, if you remember from my July, August, September video when I showcased the Minnie Mouse Main Attraction items, my one did not have the Minnie Mouse Main Attraction tag on there because I got it from a shopper from Magic Kingdom. It had just the standard park tags on and it had really bugged me. So I called them to see if I could kind of reserve one. So I wouldn't be able to get there till the Friday till about 6, 7 p.m. Um, and the lady on the phone said, you couldn't reserve a sale item, unfortunately. Um, so I thought, hmm, never mind. There was no way I'd be able to get there for opening. Um, so I messaged my bestie on WhatsApp, told her the situation. I was like, I can't believe this. I've actually got some of them on sale as well, by the way, which blows my mind. Um, and then I wouldn't be able to get there and just kind of, Having a slight moan, like, oh, what a shame, stuck with the one with the non tag that I prefer. And she messaged me back to say that her husband was actually going to be in Birmingham on the Friday morning. And she'd asked him to go for me to see if he could get one. So he turned up at the Disney store at nine o'clock because I checked online and it said that the Disney store in Ballroom would open at 9am. So he turned up there for 9am, bless him, and it wasn't open. So I think he went and stood on the floor above just kind of having a look, seeing what was going on. So I quickly called them at about, it must have been about quarter past nine, just to see if they would would possibly answer their phone and let me know when they were open. And they said they opened at half past nine. So I quickly messaged her back and said, they've said that they open at half past nine. If he's not there anymore, it's fine. Don't, don't worry about it. Seriously, it's fine. Um, next thing I know, it was about quarter to ten and she sent me a picture of the backpack. Um with him saying Jono enchanted. So slight competition. I'm only kidding. But I can't I couldn't tell them how thankful I was because I've now got and weirdly the has it got the retail? So they retailed for £65. It was on sale for £45.49, which that's a really weird figure, £49, £45.49. Really weird. I mean they would have sold even if they weren't on sale, so I don't know why they were. But I now have one with the correct tag on. So it means I can detag and use the other one. And he also did a quick kind of interpretation of me video where he showcased the bag to my best friend for a bit and she sent me that video. And I do have his permission to put his ending on the ending of my video, so keep watching for that one. But a huge thank you to him for this. So I just really quickly wanted to show that. And actually, I think it was it Saturday morning, I saw someone post a picture They've been to the Ball Ring Disney store again. I'm sure it was the Saturday morning and they had the December Minnie Mouse Main Attraction backpack. And I'm pretty sure that that person said that that backpack was on sale for about £35 or something like that. So I'm not sure, one, where Disney have found these backpacks from out of nowhere. Two, how they decide who gets them. And then three to put them on sale that much. So, I mean, people would have paid the full price for them. These backpacks have been sold out pretty much since the day they went live. So, who knows? Because if you remember on a video I did before when I went to the ballroom, I found the ears. So, it seems like they might have just found random boxes in warehouses with these different items and they're just sending them out. But anyway, unboxing. So... I've bought from Stephanie before. I'll link her information down below. Then, let's have to, uh, look at when things come in these Disney bags. I love these Disney bags. I'm going to get this item out first. It's the mint green ears. That's why I've worn white today, so you can see the colour contrast. Oh, they're so pretty. I actually love This is a really thick, substantial bow. So it's, it matches the mint sequin loungefly backpack that I unboxed a couple weeks ago. Let me see if I can put these on. Put that tag behind. 
Oh, this might go horribly wrong. Get that tag behind. All these feel nice and substantial. They don't feel that tight either. Sometimes with the Disney ears at the back, they feel really tight. These ones don't feel that tight. These are really nice. Hope you can still see them. And then to match the ears on the backpack, the Spirit Jersey. Now, Shop Disney did release the mint green Spirit Jersey ears, the full backpack and the wristlet. They did release those. I think it was Thursday. No, it wasn't. It was Friday. But they released the Disneyland version. Now, I do prefer the Disney World jerseys just because it is Disney World that I've been to. So I do prefer those ones. So again, you can see the mint contrasting compared to this white hoodie. It's why I wore white today. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's like a subtle sort of mint colour. But it's so pretty. So it says Walt Disney World across the back in glitter. And then on the front, just the normal Walt Disney World logo. The ears, I think, were $29.99 retail and the jersey, there's no price. I think these are now $69.99 retail in dollars again. They're so pretty. And again, you can see the colour contrast with the mint and the white. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, let me put that down there. So this, uh, let me put the scissors right down there. Big old box came from the US. It's not that heavy. There is just two items in here. Now, I caved and bought an item from the US. Um, all will become clear. I mean, you've probably read it in the title. a let me check that's opened actually no miss some uh -huh. is a stitch crashes disney item now friday was it friday yeah it must have been friday june the 18th friday just gone it was the june uk release for the aladdin stitch crashes disney that was a bit of a nightmare because at the same time that they released that is when they put the mint items. Actually, I think they put the hydrangea jersey on as well as, as well as the mint one. I'm sure they did. So that went live at 8 a.m. You could add to basket, you could check out, that was fine. Now, Stitch, normally at about 10 to eight, they'll do like a preview page where it looks like the normal page where you can add to bag, but instead of the button that says add to bag, it says online soon, and then eight o'clock comes refresh the page that changes to add to bag so eight o'clock came and went but stitch was not able to add to bag so i did manage to get one well i had the confirmation email they didn't do next day shipping because i was hoping he would have arrived for today mm -hmm. um hopefully he'll arrive for thursday we might have to wait and see but hopefully because you never know, I'm always sceptical until I get the shipping email. They still could cancel the order if they've oversold them, which they have done in the past. So, I don't want to get my hopes up too much. But, sorry about the noise. First item in this box, I'm just going to pop out there, which I caved and got from the US. Because I'm, I'm actually really scared about getting this one on the UK release, so I thought I'm just going to get it from the US and then I don't have to panic. Oh, he's so beautiful. It's the April Stitch Crashes Disney, the Little Mermaid one. There's no, there's no price tag on the back. I think in the US he retailed for $29.99. I think. I'll pop that down below. And then in the UK they retail for £27.50. This one, I yeah, this is my favourite one so far. Oh, he's adorable. So his little foot says 4 of 12 because this one's from April. The UK release for the April stitch is on the 1st of July. I haven't decided if I'm going to try for the pin for that one. Just because the pin for this one looks like it's got loads of glitter in there. So I might try for the pin. I haven't decided. So far I've just got the January stitch Crashly Disney pin. Um, oh, he's beautiful. 
and then his tag will say four of 12 as well. He's got a little pink flower just up here and then his design, you can see right above his nose is Ariel. So I've got quite good placement with her because again, there's different placements. Some people have had kind of a full Ariel going all across there. Um, but if I show you kind of this part of him, you can see there's a full Ariel, there's Flounder, there's Sebastian, different seashells and little stars. He's so pretty. And compared to May, this one feels nice. The May plush felt really, really odd to touch. Whereas this one feels, he's not as soft as most plushies, but he's not as shiny as the January one. If that makes any sense, I might have just confused everybody. But again, with the long tags, even the US store does the really, really long tags. But I just couldn't resist. He's so, so cute. I just love the colouring on him as well. These blue colours. And there's, oh, really subtly, actually, I've only just noticed it. There's scales within his ear. Mm. No scales are on the back there and there. I'm not being very observant today. So that's Stitch, hopefully on Thursday, for Thursday's video, I'll have the June one. Fingers crossed. Okay, I'm going to try and I'll pop Stitch there. Let me just get this Stitch. Big backpack. Oh, excuse the noise. Just trying to get it out. actually kind of goes with these actually color wise so for those of you that don't know this is the re-released bag the original of this design was a disney cast member exclusive from the disney employee center and it was limited edition of 600 so there were only 600 of these bags in the entire world and when was it now a couple of months ago probably Pink a la mode released. Now there were three designs. There was Ariel and Ursula. There was Snow White and the Evil Queen. And there was, oh, it's this tag at the back. Sorry, I felt something touching me. I didn't know what it was. Um, Snow White and the Evil Queen and Sleeping Beauty and Maleficent. So there were those three designs and I'll pop pictures up of the other two. Pink a la mode re-released them. Now I don't know if these ones were limited. There's nothing to say limited edition maybe just limited release obviously i mean i've seen obviously for people like me who didn't have one and they were going for like over a thousand pound each can't afford that so for someone like me who didn't have one it was a good opportunity to get one for much much less money because I, th I think these ones retailed on the re-release for about 75 dollars compared to a thousand pound I'd seen quite a few Facebook posts where people had recently purchased one of the originals for quite a high price and then someone re-released them so they weren't happy bunnies and I can understand why because if I just purchased something for a lot of money and then someone re-released it and it was supposed to be limited edition I can see why that would rub people up the wrong way but I'm not gonna lie for someone like me who didn't have one and couldn't afford one I'm very happy so kind of the entirety of the rest of the bag is just like a lovely teal blue colour. And then you've got Ursula and Ariel on the front with a little Aquatica at the back. It's so pretty. No, Aquatica. Atlantica. Why did I say Aquatica? I don't know. Anyway, here's the bag. And then I'll go ahead and open it up. So there is a front pocket just under there as well. Because it doesn't kind of puff out, I presume it's more like a sleeve, so you wouldn't be able to fit that much in there. Oh, the lot of packaging. Excuse the noise. The bigger the bag, the more the packaging. This one does seem a little bit taller than some of the other ones that I've got. Oh, I've ripped it. Yeah, I think this is definitely taller than some of the other ones. Oh, this is really pretty. So it's all the fish from 
part of your world song i think it's kind of a lot of the fish from there so if i just hold that up and then that should be the same lining in the front pocket I will double check yeah i don't know if you can see that very well but it's the same lining in that front pocket i'm so glad i got one of these i love little mermaid um if you follow me on instagram you'll see last time we went i had red hair i kind of flick between blonde and red but this backpack is so pretty i love her show at the top steaming down below Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you very much.